everyone, today I'll be reviewing this new Germany movie dropped today on Netflix called Prey and it is starring David Cross, Hanno Koffler and this is a like kind of like like a thriller movie where this five uh, friends they go on hiking on a national park when out of nowhere someone with a sniper gun starts shooting at them they have nowhere to run because like they just this sniper just keep uh, shooting at them uh, so i must say i really like this movie a lot although i have some question about the plot but overall this movie was quite intense watch beginning till the end there is some secret some mystery about the characters uh, you find out later in the movie overall this movie is cinematography location which is part of the story and the direction for this movie was really very good beginning till the end it's very well made movie with some uh, some of the thing may not they didn't explain properly i suppose i will get to that when i go to the ending so i really like this movie it takes its time to uh develop all the character here especially this movie has this five friend uh, two of them they are brother and this movie takes its time to set up the story for them uh there's some backflash scene because you learn more about this character through the back flash and i must say well they were showing the back flash at first i was really little annoying i was like why we are watching the, those two in the beginning uh, i guess you do learn about them why they were showing you the only thing i would say or should i say found silly about this movie is how they portrayed this uh uh like I don't want to be sound like this a Chinese guy on skin like he got shot right away in this movie I was like really are you gonna kill him off like <laughs> first of all it, it was really nice that Netflix like uh, cast him but at, at the right way this guy he got shot and he was like a little bit weak and he did uh, like fall once it was in the trailer so it's not a spoiler I must say the way they portrayed his character I was like really the only like uh other uh, color person you take and like that's how you treat him so that was really weird i guess for me at first uh but then uh, again they do show you later what is happening uh so like just a little bit i must say because every horror movie like they take like the other people and they kill them off i guess uh anyway I still i thought this movie was quite intense because especially although i have seen this kind of story before we all have seen like a, someone with the gun shooting people for fun but there is a twist end of this movie uh which i really like uh so i will go to the spoiler now because like uh because I don't know what to say, it will be spoiler or not. So spoiler running from there on because I will be going to ending and the things didn't make sense. I guess I will say that. Uh, so, you know, you will learn about the shooter who has been shooting all these people. When I say all these people, they, she has been like shooting more people. Like it's not just these five people. She's been doing this for a while. The only thing I will say, this movie never explained like how she's so good at this uh, how she's so good with the gun this movie didn't explain that the other thing i'll say or should i say although this movie is such a well done from beginning till then only one scene it's so silly this lady she's actually come across with this people like face to face but she just let them go uh, i guess it this movie tried to show you because the name is prayed like she's praying on them but her backstory once you learn about her why she's doing all this thing because i did feel bad you know when they show you about the end character who is her daughter and who is accidentally got shot and died and uh, after that i guess she just gone crazy and she started i guess shooting people what happened to her is so sad uh, when you learn that so i am really glad and of like uh, like how this movie ended again is such a well directed because the this guy Vincent uh, I might be saying his name the good brother he finds out about her backstory he actually takes time and finds out about her her backstory and he learns his uh, tragic backstory and when he actually has chance to shoot her and he doesn't that was really good uh, especially this good brother story this director he really took time to show us like he's the good guy in the show because uh, if uh, like whenever movie takes time to show you like who is like especially the character development uh it really works out at the end because it's satisfying to see that good good guys survive end of the movie so 
for that i really get thumbs up to this movie because it took its time to tell us the good brother survived which is good and the bad brother he's he's such a like he's a bully person you know he's like if, when you see him he's uh, i don't think he's kind of like a bully he was bullying every other people on this group uh the the way when the reveal about his character made sense <laughs> uh although I, I will say like uh the way he acted in this movie i really thought he's gonna dead did he die or he just left him there i guess uh this good brother he's like too good he, even he finds out that he had an affair with like his soon to be wife and he, the way he reacted i was like punch him punch him but he actually didn't he was like because he's like such a good character, I guess. Uh, on the other character, the way they acted, uh, they, it made sense, you know. Again, this movie felt really real, like all the problem they faced, uh, especially one guy, like how he get wet his shoe, then he was like, oh, because he can walk with the wet shoe, it really makes sense. So this movie has very realistic feel to it, I will say, I really like that. Uh, overall cinematography, where this movie was shot, very realistic, that's why you felt, like you feel the intense moment in this movie because the way it was shot and the location you feel it uh when these people are in danger you are actually wondering are they gonna survive or not uh because this lady was actually very uh crazy i just wish she said something before dying i guess she was just gone crazy then again her tragic story when you learn about her you understand her so that's why this movie works because you actually get backstory of the villain overall as i was saying i did i have seen this kind of movie before the other day i was seeing one movie it's called red it was on netflix it was similar they were camping and somewhere they're shooting them then they were like oh who's doing that that so that one the when they revealed the ending i did not like it that much here i don't know i i liked it i guess i felt sad for this lady though a tragic things happened to her uh that said i really enjoyed this movie i recommend you check it out uh because it's really worth checking uh especially all the story might be you have seen it before but overall the execution for this movie is really good and yeah, that was my thought on this movie let me know in the comment what you think about this movie and if you enjoyed my video don't forget to subscribe don't forget to leave your comment and please take care